In this video, I'm going to show you how to use any controller with the Tello drone without having to buy the GameSir or the Game Vice controller. So, the first thing you need to do is go to the Play Store and download the Octopus app. This is basically a touch mapping app which will map your controller actions to simulate touches on the screen. So it doesn't work with VR, but it does let you use a controller with a drone and give you tactile feedback. So I'll be using a PlayStation controller for this and I'll connect it with an OTG cable through USB. Once you've got your controller connected, you need to open the Octopus app, press add game and find the Tello app in the list. You then need to open the Tello app through the Octopus app. And then you'll see it launch with the little Octopus icon over your Tello app. Then you press the little Octopus icon to bring up the settings. Go to Joystick and overlay the octopus joystick areas over the little touch joystick areas in the Tello app. Then you go to key. Press the key you want to use on your controller. For this I will be using R1 for the photos. and move that R1 button over the function you want to use. So I want to use R1 for the photos and I want to R use R2 to select between photos and videos. So press A key again, hit R2 on your joystick, run that over the selection button, then I'll use the triangle which is shown as Y in the app and run that over the takeoff and landing button then you press fold and you connect to your Tello if it still doesn't work the trick is to open the Tello app through Octopus first then turn on your drone then connect to it through Wi-Fi and you'll see that drone connected message then open your apps and go back to the Octopus Tello app. It does have a problem sometimes where it won't show you the first person view video from the drone when you're flying it, but that's just something the drone has and we're going to have to wait for an update for that. But as you can see, it does work with any controller with the touch overlay. It won't work with VR because this app simulates you touching the phone and once you press VR, all those joysticks go away so there's nothing for you to touch. But if you just want to use the joystick without using VR and you don't want to spend the 60 bucks on a special controller, then this is a pretty good solution.